more video. I hope you're doing well. So, I have a big bin of ASMR triggers. Number one being this. I took my Hello everybody. I'm sorry guys if I am declining your um, request to go live with me. Hold on. Um, I am new to TikTok doing these live streams and I am not, um, you know, I don't want to do a, a live with anybody right now. So. like two or three people but I do hope y'all are all doing well today and if you happen to hear anybody outside I have neighbors that are outside I guess I hope they're not too noisy I think they're calling their cat <laughs> ASMR on TikTok. This is my third live in a row, well, in three days. And I thought I would just go live for you guys with some ASMR and do some different triggers. I just have a box of different triggers here and that y'all might like. If y'all want to talk to me, you can. If you want to request something, y'all can. Feel free, don't be afraid to ask. I have a big, big bin, two big bins full of trigger toys. And if y'all have something that you'd like to request, Please feel free to request it. I won't um, bite. <laughs>
<clears throat> it was hot today. Oh my gosh. It was so hot. It's starting to become summertime here. Where I live. What did everybody do today? I hope everybody had a great day. I'm doing better. Thank you. Every day. Um, spoons. Darn it. I don't have any spoons with me. bring spoons over. That is actually a really nice sound. The spoons. <clears throat> oh man. Invite me over to go swimming. That sounds fun. Our neighbors have a Um, 
muy poquito de español. Thank you. I went to the 
maybe like an hour later, he came in there and was like, I'm sorry. He goes, I didn't mean to disrespect you. After that, he was nice and we, had, we got along fine, but I'm just giving you all a little like history on me, like my character.
I have an Amazon wish list on YouTube. It's right in there. If you go to YouTube and you go to um, Nikki Whispers ASMR, it's on my descriptions. It's on every video. Dakota. 
No, I don't. It's just funny because it's, you said ferment enough noodles, please. He's always like, Dakota is always like, um, like joking with me about how I think that Daemu, Daemu things smell <laughs> like Daemu, Daemu uh, toys. ASMR on YouTube. He has a whole 
like he has videos about what happened to Kevin's trekking ASMR. Yeah. <clears throat> if you if you go and you look that up, you'll see what happened. But you gotta watch the live video. <laughs> I think it was Wittrium that said and um the he said Kevin Moore one time and I just thought that was so funny. Kevin Moore. And I'm not trying to be mean to Kevin because Kevin was at one point he was a nice he was really nice to me. Have y'all guys eaten anything like um
Which brother? My brother. My only brother. I have one brother. He's 11 years older than me. Hi, hi Erica. And sorry if I don't see everybody's comment. It's just that um, it's scrolling kind of fast. <coughs>
to think that each of us like have our own lives and like other lives are going on. Like I'm talking about like our soul, our life that we live on this earth, that everybody has their own life and like other things have happened to them, like stories and it's like, I know that's called Sonder. Look that up. S-O-N-D-E-R. That's called Sonder to think like that, but it always fascinates me that other people have their own lives and their own distinct, like, um, stories and history. It's, it amazes me. That's kind of strange to me. Like, I'm not the only one in the life of, like, in this thing we call life, you know what I mean? Like, there's people that live there. I don't know, it's just weird. I don't know, I'm not making any sense, probably, but it's hard to explain. If you look up the word Sonder, you'll understand. I'm trying to find other stuff to play with here. I 
this point, I'm glad. I'm glad that it doesn't smell like bread because I want to eat it. Yeah, it's like our brain doesn't even use all of its, like, um, all of the uh, potential. You know, I mean, all of its, like, it's like a computer, right? The most advanced computer that you can, you can think of. Like you're the only one with a psyche. Everyone knows is a character. That's like Matrix. <laughs> I like the Matrix movie. Where they're like a simulation or whatever. Like everything is not real. Unless they're unplugged and then they're, you know. If you were in the Matrix, would you take the red pill or would you take the blue pill? Which one is the red pill? The red pill was the one that... He stayed in his dream world, right? Like in the simulation. But then the, I think the blue pill was where he would see the truth. I would want to know the truth. You've never seen The Matrix, Kenny. You gotta watch The Matrix. You've never seen The Matrix. How old are you, Kenny? Maybe because that movie came out in 1999. Oh, you're very, very young. You're very young, that's why. If you ever watch The Matrix with Keanu Reeves, I think you'll like that movie, especially if you like philosophy and stuff like that. There's an interesting part where one of the guys that knows the truth, well, one of the guys knows the truth, like, um, in The Matrix, but he chooses t to live in the fantasy world or whatever, the simulation, because he just likes, because the real world is so awful real world is really bad and um they have to they have to try to fight to survive through it but he's like if i could live like this and um i think they were giving him like a steak or something like that and he was eating it and he goes i know this is not real but i like you know just the f i mean i don't know there's like a part there that i really enjoyed because or i it made me think about how people are today they would rather live a lie live in a lie then know the truth about things or at least live in ignorance I won't get into that but my favorite old movie is Eyes Wide Shut I've never seen that movie I have to check that one out I'm trying to think about where I'm going to get something to eat tonight because I didn't pull anything out to make. I was going to make something, but when I got home earlier, I didn't feel very good, so I took a rested. And um, we went and ran an errand. But I'm, I'm hungry. I'm pretty hungry, and I'm going to probably go and get a cheeseburger or something like that. <laughs> Or maybe some chicken. I don't know where to... Popeyes, maybe. I don't have any canned tuna. That sounds good, though. And that's much healthier than what I should eat. <laughs> I like putting, like... I like this how I like to make a tuna salad. I like to put, um... Celery and onions. And, um... Let's see. Celery, onions. I'm trying to think what else to put. Mayonnaise. I like to put tuna and macaroni and cheese. I don't do that often.
in and out. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay, so I used to do that. I put do macaroni, mayo, peas, tiny bit of mustard, and salt and pepper. Ooh, that sounds so good. Ooh, that sounds so good. I like to, and I like that too. And yes, I used to go to in and out with my husband. I okay, so I was gonna have bariatric surgery, guys. Like I was gonna have my stomach sleeved, like cut in half. <laughs> to lose weight one time, but I just couldn't go through with it because um, after reading the effects, uh, I would have to be drinking my food with us, like liquid, liquidized, and I was doing that. I was eating my food with like, um, I was eating liquid food, like just liquid for three weeks just to lose the weight to be able to be able to have the sleeve done and after a month I was qualified to have it done but then they said that I would have to drink my liquid um, after the surgery was done for another f month and I was just like I don't I would have a panic attack so I didn't do it I spent three thousand dollars cash money just to um just to get a nutritionist and all that. And then I didn't go through with it at all. That was such a waste of money. I lost, I lost 25 pounds though at that point. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that's how we get it. When I go, when I was on that diet, I would get the Flying Dutchman or the Do Flying Dutchman burger. They would give it to you out the bun. I would get no fries. And I would just get water. Or a Diet Coke. And I like to get the Unwitch from Jimmy John's. Actually, that sounds kind of good. I really should eat like that. Adventure 
this girl, my husband will eat snails. He eats snails and s squirrels and like bugs. <laughs> He'll eat anything once. The only thing I've ever eaten that was like super adventurous was um, worms. Mealworms. I've eaten mealworms. Um, fried mealworms before. You freak out eating shrimps. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, so my my husband is a hunter. He goes hunting and he'll, he, he'll shoot, you know, um, the squirrels. It's so sad. I could never do that, but he shoots the squirrels and he'll come and clean them up. He calls them cleaning them up. And then, um, cook them. Like, grill them. <laughs> cook them up. At one time, I was at a really fancy restaurant. We were at our anniversary at a fancy restaurant. And I needed to go to the bathroom. And he had ordered some fried mushrooms. And when I came back, I sat down. And he was like, I got some fried mushrooms. And I was just like, Oh, good. And I was about to eat one, guys, but then I thought, this is a very fancy restaurant. They won't have fried mushrooms here. So I said, what is this? And I looked them up, guys. I looked up, like, what they were. And they were fried snails escargot. I was like, uh-uh. He, he tried to make me eat one because he said, you you just got to eat it. And if you don't like it, well, then you don't like it. But just try it at least once. I told him, don't ever do that to me again. <laughs> I said, don't ever, like, tell me that. You got to tell me what I'm eating. I have never tried them. Well, I'm not sure. I might have eaten a muscle before and not known. Cause I do like seafood. Uh, I don't like oysters. I can't eat oysters. I, I eat them. I swallow them. I don't even chew them. They're gritty sometimes. Oh, this is making me so hungry. That sounds kind of good to eat like, um, fish now, like fish, but it's already 9-11, I don't think any place is gonna be open like that. Thirty or forty minutes away. 
I would go to Red Lobster, that's for sure. Yum, yum. I would get me the crispy or like the crunchy fish or the Atlantic salmon. Oh, you're on the go swim. I bet you it's cheaper too.